Hello and welcome back. My name is Nicole Cole. Today, I thought we would take a little break from doing some fall decor and work on just some everyday decor. Now, y'all know that, and yes, Bear, I see you. Yes. Y'all know that my mom and dad just moved into the little cottage and we are, you know, I got a lot of things of my mother's. So I got a lot of her blue and white dishes, blue and white vases, blue, I mean, gracious. Then not long after that, my sweet mother-in-law uh, text me and she had a friend that was selling a large grouping of blue and white. So that being said, I took advantage of it and I thought I would share all of it with y'all tonight and put it in my cabinet that I had discussed that we would do together. Also, I'm adding in some encyclopedias that I got from my mama. So there's going to be a mixture of everything and I'll let y'all know as I go through of what I have and where I got it from. Now, nothing I have here you can probably buy at Kirkland's or, or TJ Maxx. So, I'm so very sorry about that. So, these are just things that have been picked up here and there. But I can't wait to share with you all my treasures. So, let's get started on this little hutch. So as you can see, there's a ton of encyclopedias, a few everyday books, and a bunch of blue and white. All of that is going to go in this cabinet. And I just thought I would share with you all how my mind operates and how I decorate cabinets of this nature. Now this cabinet, I will say, is super dark in the back and I have contemplated on painting the back white, but I think after I do this, things will actually stand out in this piece. So let's get started. So these are the encyclopedias that I got from my mom and dad. These actually were purchased by my grandparents to give to my grandma, to my mom and dad, excuse me. And I want to say that the, um, the copyright on them was in the 1960s. So, but I want to stand these up in one side. And maybe do some over here. Hmm. No, I want to do this. I have these Chinese checkers or checkerboard. And I want to use that here. I think. Y'all know I love doilies. And this one is actually kind of a linen with the um, the crocheted edge on it. I'm just going to lay that over. Now, you can see it's bringing out more colors or more brightness. With just all that stain, it was super hard to see in this cabinet. So, I'm hoping this will pull that out. This was my great grandfather's. It is a um, prescription pad of his and I framed it and, and I thought I'd love to have that in here. Now I wanna add some of these blue pieces. This is the one that I picked up from um, my mother-in-law sent me, a friend was selling them over in Monroeville and I got this piece here. So, um, I'll just say this one came from, you know, a collection with, from my mother-in-law and this one's my mom's. Now, this was a gift, this was a gift to me from a girlfriend. I'm just going to add that just for some more color. Maybe some books in front of that. With a small, this came from that collection of my mother-in-law. And then, it's kind of moved to the bottom because I want to make sure that I get an even. So, I'm putting books slanted on the side in this corner. I have this big urn that I got from my mother. And I think, why don't I do this? Pull this out of the corner. Put this in the corner 
and maybe move this back. I want to be able to see that. That's why I moved this up. So I have some more of this blue. This is another piece from that set that my mother-in-law told me about. This was from that set. This was actually my mom's. So I'm just gonna set that right there. This was a piece from that set. I wanna spread it out. So I may keep kind of playing with it. This was from the set of my mother-in-law. And I did purchase that. So I purchased these three pieces and these bottom. Maybe y'all can see that better. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that y'all couldn't see the top. But I just added this little, almost like a teacup looking with a butterfly lid. And I'm just gonna stick that, and here's the bottom of it if y'all are interested. I'm just gonna stick that right in the front. Now I have this blue and white coffee cup. Now I've had this, this was part of my collection. I think I'm going to set it over to the side, but put a little bit of greenery in it. You can already see how much this is popping off of that wood background. This thing has given me fits on, you could not see anything in it. I got some crystal, I won this at work, so I'm just gonna kinda, Put that in here and there. Put it up here. This is just a piece of wood, just to add more interest. And I like the fact that it plays off of that. It's a different color, but look how pretty that already looks. And like I said, I'll probably tweak because when I close this, I want to be able to see it. I think that's enough for this side. Let's move to the other. Same concept on this side. We're just gonna play with these books. I may turn some with the spines, some with the pages. This is a piece I had, it's just a ginger jar. I like propping the books up against the side just to add color and to brighten up the side. Three more. This was my piece. Now you could add doilies how I did the other side. You could add doilies just to get a hint of the book, but I, I'm really wanting to accentuate the books as well. Maybe I don't want to do that there. Let's see. These are some blue and white plates. I have about five, five of those. I think I'm going to put that there. I have this Pot. This was mine with a little half sphere. Y'all know I love greenery. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Maybe I should move this slightly over. My little church. I have these little fingertip bowls that go with the plates. I think I'm gonna put those here and use my milk jugs. I 
That's cute. Now I want to do something down here. More encyclopedias. Maybe I could do the ginger jar here. Nope, it won't fit. Maybe in the back. This is just a little blue and white egg. Some more books. <laughs> more books. Those are just little coasters that I had. I got this from my mother-in-law collection that my mother-in-law had. Isn't that sweet? Let me see. See how I just propped it? I love that. I have these little salt and pepper shakers, but just to add a little bit of interest. Another ginger jar, this was mine. And I always do things at kind of a diagonal, just to give it more depth. If you just do everything straight, it doesn't look as cozy to me. So you'll notice I have everything kind of like on a diagonal. This is a piece that I already had. I got this from my mother-in-law, the collection of my mother-in-law. A collection from my mother-in-law. I got a lot of pieces from that, didn't I? Now, I have this little cup. This was my mom's. I think I'm gonna set it beside that with another piece of greenery in it. That's sweet. I have another little spoon. And maybe just to fill in. Greenery back here. I wanna show y'all. This is the piece shot. You can see the items in there so much better than before. I'll show you a clip of it before, but I hope y'all enjoyed today. I enjoyed showing you all my treasures that I got from my mom and my mother-in-law. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, if you would do so, I would greatly appreciate it. We'd love to have you in our YouTube family. Thank y'all. Have a blessed day. I failed to show y'all this piece. This was my mother's. More encyclopedias.